my spiritual butterfly. I wanted to do a quick video so I could share a process with you for uh, manifesting a new job. Um, so I know um, I sent an email out at the weekend to my subscribers with this process in. I know quite a few of them because in the UK we're in this second lockdown now. I know quite a few people have been made redundant or furloughed. Um, but even if you're you're okay in your job, but maybe you're unhappy in your job and you're looking for a new job, this process will also be a benefit to you as well. Um, so to, to do this process, to manifest your new job or a job that you're going to love, uh, you just need to take some time to sit down and have your journal with you or a notepad. And what you're going to do is just think about the role you want and start to write down some information, some details about the role. And we're going to look at the this kind of physical aspects of a new job and then we're going to look at energetic things that you know you're going to want as well in order for you to actually love the job that you're in um so the first thing if, in terms of the the physical tangible things that you can be looking at the first thing would be to write down you know the, the type of work you want to be doing what's the role what's the job role that you actually want uh then you want to look at your salary how much do you want to be earning um, take home or before tax, whatever it is, what sort of benefits has this company got? So, you know, uh, including things like the number of holidays a year you're going to get. Is there like private health care, dental care? Um, do they give free lunch? I used to work at a company that had free lunch. It was lovely. Um, you know, what sort of perks do you have? Do they contribute towards your pension? And roughly how much is that? Do you get an annual bonus? So put all of that in there. You don't want any of that missing. Um, then you want to maybe have a look at the location. So you're going to write down where you want to work. If you're not fast, then you just want to maybe say things like you want it to be a nice location, maybe green or trees, easy to get to. That's the main thing. But you do want to, if you have an idea of where you want to work, then definitely get that in there, particularly if commuting is, is something for you. You don't want to be commuting two hours to your ideal job because eventually that will weigh you down. So you want to be thinking about that as well. Um, the other thing you want to think about are maybe the hours that you work. So is it a nine to five? Is it 10 to six? Uh, do you get the chance to sort of work from home? Can you work from home as much as you like? Um, so all of those things you want to put in there in terms of the, the type of job you want, uh, and the boxes you kind of want to tick for your job when you're going for it. Then we want to look at energetic things that we want. You know, so this is all about um, how you want to feel in your job. So you want to consider or write down um, that your your colleagues are really professional, really friendly. Uh, they're caring and fun to be around as well. You form some good friendships there. You want to be um, really respected and valued and appreciated by your manager and the rest of your team as well. So you want to write that down. Um, and you want your job to be interested in fun. So you might want a particular job and yes, it may pay you really well, but if you don't enjoy it, what's the point? You really want to know that you love what you're doing. So you want to get that in there too. Uh, and then you want to think about um, how you want to feel. When you're getting up in the morning, getting ready to go to, to work, how are you feeling? You know, you want to be feeling excited, enthusiastic, can't wait to start your get day and see everybody there. So you want to get that in there. Um, you want to talk about or think about how you want to feel when you're at work, you know, um, you don't want a job that's like so, so stressed you can't think. You want to be able to easily manage your day to be like kind of challenging in a way. So you, you feel motivated to do stuff, um, but you want to enjoy your working day. And then finally, you want to think about how you want to feel when you leave work, you know, feeling kind of uplifted, elevated, still with some energy to, to partake in whatever activity you've got in the evening, your family or friends. So you don't want your job draining you. So it's important to, to put that in there that you want your job, which is uplifting you. And notice I'm saying that in the positive. You don't want to put down there, I don't want my job to be draining. You want it to be, uh, you want to say in the positive. Yeah, the, the universe of conscious doesn't understand negatives. No, don't. So you want to put in there what you actually want. Um, and then I would highly recommend you have a little listen to my Reiki meditation. So I've got a, 
uh, a meditation called Manifest with Reiki. Uh, it's not long. I think it's about nine, 11 minutes long. I'll put the link below so you can have a little listen to that. And it allows you to really sort of let go, to connect to that, that sort of um, the imagery of what you want as well and bring it into your subconscious through your body. So it's a really nice meditation to listen to. So yeah, that's really my process. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it gives you a bit of a gap in between worrying or stressing, if that's where you are right now. Uh, it should kind of break that cycle of thought a little bit, even if you kind of do this process and maybe do the meditation once a day, then it's allowing, creating a bit of a gap for something else to come through. So, but yeah, I hope you enjoy it. If you've got any questions as well, do let me know, do comment below, let me know what you think. But yeah, until next time, namaste. Thank you. Thank you.